Will there be a Nintendo Direct in January or will it be in February? And what should we expect? Do we already know some things? Has stuff leaked out there? Is there information we have to lean on for expectations for this Nintendo Direct? And yeah, let, we look, we got to have this conversation for many, many reasons because there's a lot of stuff out there. And when we talk about a Nintendo Direct, it's obviously important to note, hey, why should we expect a Direct? Well, here's a list of dates that were put up by Paul Gale Network going over most of the Directs, whether it was a mini or a standard Direct, for the last, well, decade, right around the beginning of the year, generally going from like January all the way through March or April. And as you can see, for the most part, we've had about four February Directs in a row. We did have one January Direct back in 2018. But in general, for the Switches era, February Directs have been kind of the be all end all that's when we should expect it right and i talked about on a recent live stream how i sort of expected to be somewhere between the 9th and the 16th so it's like the 9th the 14th and the 16th to me seem like the most likely dates at least based on the previous dates and um, that's really cool there is one reason though to maybe think it could be sooner well two reasons in particular if we're completely honest one is that we know nothing about tears of the kingdom and we're having all these rumors that are probably fake and even the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED leak, yeah, that might be fake as well. Or maybe it's real. And if it's real, that just says, well, man, we really should get this Direct coming soon. But even if it's fake, it's still one of those, hey, are we really going to wait till three months before the game comes out to start marketing? That feels weird, right? It kind of feels like we should have started this marketing train last year and we still haven't really gotten it going so maybe they will start it in january and that wouldn't really be abnormal but what makes people think we might have one this month is really all about a supposed leaker with a hundred percent track record over on reddit that said hey uh you know are you primed you should be primed and that made people think about metroid prime hd or metroid prime 4 and apparently this leaker additional information since that video that i made earlier last week this leaker apparently only releases information very close to when we're gonna get it now we could get just a twitter drop nintendo has been doing twitter drops like the bayonetta 3 release date was a twitter drop but we do seem to be backed into more of a traditional marketing spin in general over the last year, and it's possible that this indicates a new Direct is coming soon. Now, we don't have any like Nate Drakes or any of the classic Emily Rogers and stuff out there telling us that one is coming soon. They're kind of staying quiet for now, although I believe uh, Nate the Hate said he's got something coming around one of his upcoming podcast episodes where he'll talk more about it. But there's also things to talk about beyond the date. Like we could talk about how, okay, maybe it'll happen after Fire Emblem Engage comes out. We have an entire week there. It could be Fire Emblem Engage drops on a Friday, then the following Thursday, it's still in January and we get a January direct. Uh, it could also be up to the middle of February, like I expect it to be. But the date is less important to me than what's going to be in this direct. And we talk a lot about Tears of the Kingdom, right? That's the one thing that we expect to be in this Direct. After Fire Emblem Engage is sort of their next system selling game. And there was an update to a patent that we saw back in 2021. You guys remember that patent that showed Link falling through the sky and shooting arrows and apparently having fight, you know, combat and, and showing some of the other mechanics that we've seen in the trailers, which is why we know that this is a Tears of the Kingdom patent. Well, it had an update about a month ago, and this update added something uh, really interesting. It, it detailed how the air combat works with shooting arrows, and essentially it's just you move your camera in a certain direction, whether you're looking down, looking forward, looking left, right, behind, up, etc., and then you select an action, in this case probably drawing the bow, and then it'll fixate in that area, and then you can kind of do like this whole thing and shoot at a pre-selected target, which kind of made me think of Z-targeting being involved possibly in this combat in some way, but then to change like from, from shooting this way to diving, shooting down or shooting on your back and going up, you would obviously, you know, put the bow away, then move the camera, then bring it back out. And it sounded a little clunky just reading about it in a patent, but this was an update to the patent that wasn't in the original one. So yeah, you see that update, you start to get an idea of how this aerial combat could work, and you go, Tears of the Kingdom, man. We're going to be seeing some of this aerial combat soon. This is going to be insane. Are we going to fight dragons midair? <laughs> I hope so. What interests me is what else could be in this direct. And there's been a couple other patents that, well, at least one other patent I think is worth bringing up. There seems to be a patent for a rhythm game that involves the Ring Fit Adventure ring and strap, which makes you think it might just be a Ring Fit Adventure 2. Uh, that could be a thing. Ring Fit Adventure sold 15 million, so... 
expecting that. And I got to give credit to Mike Odyssey for finding that patent. Uh, it actually was published on December 29th, so it's quite recent. Uh, but yeah, so that could be a thing potentially to expect as a ring fit. And I know some people are already expecting Metroid or some sort of Metroid stuff. I don't know that I'm going to go that far, but hey, you know what? If what this leaker was saying on Reddit and he is credible, then sure, maybe that's a thing. Uh, we also know that Natrick put out their F-Zero. 2023 is going to be a year for F-Zero. He didn't state if it was going to be remake, remaster, new game. I'm assuming it'll be a, a remaster of F-Zero GX for GameCube because uh, Emily Rogers said we're going to get a bunch of GameCube remasters. But look, we don't know anything definitively. Uh, there are some things that are probably safe to expect. As an example, we should expect the Direct to happen by the end of February. That's just tradition, right? That's that's the way it's been through most of the Switch's era. All right, not only should we expect it to happen by the end of February, we should expect there to be something like Splatoon 3 DLC there. Look, Splatoon 3 came out last year. Usually around this time, they announced DLC. So it would make sense for the DLC expansion pass to get announced to release later on this fall or winter around the holidays. We could expect Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC to be in here. We could see Fire Emblem Engage DLC, which is already announced, appear in here. We could also see Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 4. Now, they have you know announced Wave 1 at the February Direct so it makes sense if they announce Wave 4 in February and have it come out in April. That puts them right on pace with the way they handled things last year. So those are some base expectations. That and maybe a ring fit or something. But obviously what people want to know is where's the major games? Because we have that rumor out there that Zelda is it. It is the final major system seller. I know, Pikmin 4, everyone. I get it. But Pikmin 4 struggles to sell a million copies. So... I get why the people who said this don't consider Pikmin 4 to be a big deal. Look, I think that we are in for a treat. I think we're going to see a bunch of big games revealed. I think one thing to pay attention to is do they still, still throw the Switch logo at the beginning of those reveals? So say a new Mario game is shown off. Is a Switch logo at the start? I don't know. If it's not, does that mean something? I don't know, but it definitely brings up the speculation on the hardware front. And the reason I'm mentioning hardware isn't because I think it'll actually be revealed at this Direct. They generally don't do hardware reveals at Direct. Like They'll do like special editions, but they don't reveal like the Switch Lite or the Switch OLED or, you know, whatever's next. They don't reveal that stuff at Directs. They always do their own events. But what I find interesting in thinking about that just for a moment is we know Nintendo has something going on. They told us back in 2021 when they announced that they have a billion dollar investment in game development, research and development, and hardware development. A billion dollars, which is the most in Nintendo history. And at that same event, they literally said that Nintendo accounts and all this were going to be forwards compatible to whatever the next hardware was. They said this in 2021, and we're now in 2023. They weren't saying that in 2021 because they weren't making plans for what's next. They already were making plans for what's next. Remember, that was the, oh, they said we're in the middle of the life cycle. For being in the middle of the life cycle, they sure as heck were willing to talk about what's coming next and some of their future plans and bringing Nintendo accounts and other things forward compatible. So look, I'm not saying it's going to be at this direct, but if it is, I don't know. I'm just I, I'm just throwing out there that Nintendo sort of told us that we're sort of in the area to expect to hear something eventually. Of course, it could be till 2024. I have no idea. Nintendo Switch just had eight of the top 10 games in the UK last week. They're still dominating in Japan. Obviously, we know PlayStation and Xbox jumped ahead of Switch during the holidays here, but maybe now that we're in January, Fire Emblem Engage is coming out. Of course, PlayStation has a big game coming out too in Forspoken, but hey, maybe Switch ends up surging ahead this month. I think Switch could surge ahead, obviously, in May, but again... Switch was the best-selling unit in the U.S. last year, despite not winning the holidays. So there's a lot of reasons to keep Switch going from a sales perspective. There's also a lot of reasons to maybe get new hardware out there and keep the momentum going. There's also a lot of reasons to expect a billion things at this Direct, because once, once we're past Zelda, we know about Pikmin 4, Metroid Prime 4, and that's it. We don't know about anything else, and we have no idea when Metroid Prime 4 is coming. So I want all of your guys' comments on this down below. I don't know definitively what's happening one way or another. I can really only speak for myself, but it just kind of feels like we're in that mode now where Nintendo Direct is coming sometime in the next, you know, I don't know, 50 days or so, maybe less, 45 days or less. 
And we're going to start seeing a lot of rumors and stuff start coming out about the date and about this and that. And we'll cover that stuff as it happens. I also want to remind everyone that when we talk about rumors and leaks, to remember that unless it's verified, like if a leak is a verified leak, and what does that mean? A verified leak would be something that we can confirm definitively beyond a doubt to be an actual thing. The Game Boy stuff, as an example, leaking from NSO last year. That is literally something that can be proven and verified. Things like the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED leak is unverifiable information, so you should remain extremely skeptical. And anything listed like that, you should be skeptical about, maybe even doubtful. And anything called a rumor, you should remain skeptical and doubtful for as well, no matter how excited I and others might get, always know in the back of my mind, I'm not going to get disappointed over something not happening when it was never promised. A rumor slash leak is not a promise. It is not an announcement. It is a possibility. And as long as we keep that and we keep that mentality for the rest of this year, I think we're going to have a lot to be excited about and a lot to be excited about. So, yeah. And hey, guys, I... I I told you guys a little snippet on Tears of the Kingdom Combat today that Nintendo hasn't even shown us yet. Pretty cool, huh? And it came from Nintendo. Kind of weird that I'm learning about how some gameplay works with this game from Nintendo without Nintendo actually showing us the gameplay. Yeah, uh, we're a little overdue to see Tears of the Kingdom, Nintendo. Come on now. You just give me, a, give me a trailer on Twitter. I don't need a direct. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.